יש להם תמיכה מאוד מאוד טובה. נורא את הסיפור שלי. We're at the... איך היית מבטאת את זה באנגלית? אם בן מה? אם בן מה? אם בן מה? אם בן מה? That brand. And we're trying on shoes for summer. I really like the sandals for kids. I don't take them still. Okay. אני כבר עושה את הוידאו? כן, ואת רואה שיש שם דברים? אה, לא, אין שעון. לבנות לנשכוח להשתמש. יש שעון או אין שעון? מה שלומך? יאללה, זה יפה. תראי, עם הנעליים העברות. אז תרגישו הכי חופשי. אז... סבבה. מה שלומך? עם הלוק ה... עם מנסי דמוי אור שלי היום בכלל. רגע, רגע, תניחי רגע את הרגל. סני וריני, והוא פשוט היה לו אירס כמעט כמעט. כן? אבל יש לנו כאילו גיאל דארק סייל. באמת? כן. זה כל כך מיוחד שזה מיוחד. But it's sunny. The kitten doesn't know what to do about this. Yeah, it's not raining anymore. Oh, slightly wet. Can you tell that it's wet? And there is Buddha Mama. Happy Thursday, everybody. Um, it's evening. I just have to show you this. This is just so cute. I mean, I just put him there, but look at that. I mean, I'm making it dark, but do you see that? Do you see how he's there hugging? Isn't that cute? It's Thursday night. Uh, Monday night is Passover. Uh, it's what's called Leila Seder and Passover it actually is seven days so it's a week and there's two what are called sabbatical days I guess you would say uh, one in the beginning one in the end so that's Jewish holidays and general Jewish days are counted from the night so like tonight technically it's Friday Friday already according to Jewish tradition anyways uh, Passover is that holiday that happens in the spring and, <coughs> and everybody goes nuts and cleans out because you're supposed to get rid of anything that's called chametz, which basically is anything wheat, like risen flour and basically wheat, anything wheat. And people go crazy and, and I guess you would consider it spring cleaning, only everybody does it and everybody goes completely nuts and out of proportion. Uh, we've basically finished the kitchen. I, it's been a tradition for many people, not a tradition, a, a habit of many people to finish cleaning, doing their cleaning. I'm standing in a weird position, I'm sorry. Um, finishing their cleaning like a few days in ahead, up ahead. So I did actually help and I'm not sore because I was volunteering and doing stuff that I could do. So I'm really happy about that. Um, my room is actually clean. I'm really happy because I've been debating a lot about my hats. And they've been basically in a box. And eh, we know that I would remember I have hats. So I have a bunch of winter hats. But those are still in the box. I did pull out my summer hats. And I just... Ooh, I hope I didn't shoot too close up. I basically arranged them like that. And I just had another guest come in my room. Choop, choop. Hi. Ah. Anyways, um, I'm hoping to do some editing. Now that my room's kind of organized, it puts me more in the mood. And I'm really happy. And that's it. There's nothing new. Yeah. Oh, I finished watching. I watched, like, a whole marathon of How I Met Your Mother yesterday. I watched, like, six or seven episodes in a row, and I finished up the season. I gotta say, and here's a spoiler, so I'll just, so skip to the end or something. Um, 
it's a little bit disappointing. Like, this used to be the strongest, one of the strongest TV shows for me, and it was just, it just ended on a very disappointing note. Um, I didn't want him to end up with Robin. I didn't have, I didn't need that in order to feel satisfied from the show. You know, a lot of shows are like that, but I didn't need that. I felt completely fine with him finishing off uh, being uh, with the mother, okay? If you've watched the end, you know that. And it's just disappointing, and, you know, it kind of ruins the end for you because it didn't end on a strong note. It's not like Seinfeld ended up this big bang of a note, and Friends also ended on this huge note. And How I Met Your Mother is just not going to go into the pantheon of comedies, I guess, just because the end. That's how I feel. Um, yep. <laughs> so it's morning. Good morning. And as you can see, they each have a mouth. <laughs> and what's interesting is if you go anywhere near one of them with, when they're ha when they have a mouth in their mouth, they like sort of kind of growl. See, he has the green mouth, and they go out with it. They take it out in the yard. There he is carrying it in the mouth, and periodically they come back in carrying it back in their mouth. But I think what they're doing is they're hiding them outside, basically, and then when they want to play, they bring it back. Oh my god, look at that. It almost looks like it's snowing. See those little freckles? That's not the camera. That's, that's reality. <laughs> so, and then you have Buddha playing with, well, was playing with a straw that I think he dumped behind my bed now. Hi, little boy. Big boy. Hi. So they're much less timid. Oh, um, it's been established that this guy's name is Shadow because he follows Buddha and the other guy's name is Tim, because it comes from Timid, because he's more timid than Shadow. Well, <laughs> I think it's cute, don't you? Um, yeah, there's nothing like, there we go, he picks it up, and I, you see them around the yard, running around like crazy, holding those things in their mouth. Shadow! Hello! He's having fun. George! George! Hi! Hi. Buddha, what are you doing? Stop working my bed. I'll get you a new I'll get you a new straw, Buddha. Because I'm too lazy to go get the one to fill behind the bed. <laughs> oh. Today is just gonna be a mellowed out day. I'm gonna do editing. I'm gonna take a shower now first. And yes, I fall asleep a lot of times in, in what I wear the previous day. If it's comfortable, I just kind of do. That's why I looked the same as yesterday. But I'm going to go take a shower. And here he comes, holding it in his mouth. Can you see? I had to. I had to. This is so cute. I will be cute this morning. I will be cute. I haven't seen the green mouse in a very long time. And only I've only noticed uh, shadow play. I think they have territorial grabs for each colored mouse. The, like the smell or something, I guess. Because I'm not sure they can see the difference between green and red. See? He hissed. Because somebody came close to his mouse. The mouse is greener on the other side. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish tidying up in my room. I really don't have that much. I changed the position of my screens again, simply because then it gives me room, more room here to put, like, all my lotions and stuff like that and more crap, and it doesn't really take up any more room on this side of the desk. So, yeah, I changed my screens again, as you can see, and that's it. I'm going to go take my shower and start my day. So I'm bye -bye. getting out. I finished getting ready and I'm going to go pick up a friend of mine and we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. I'm on this um, spree little fiber on the camera lens uh, to find orange lipstick. And actually I think that I might go for the La Creme by Too Faced. But I'm going to go see if I can find a cheaper drugstore option first. Because it's not something that I think I'm going to wear too much. So I don't think I want to spend too much money on it. Hi! So I'm back. And I went out to do some shopping. And I got some... I was a lot of Coke. So I went and got myself some Coke. And I picked up some... The main goal that I went out was uh, nail polish and looking for an orange lipstick. So I did find two... Uh, um, glitter nail polishes that I liked. This one is purple, this one is blue. 
And I'm going to show you. These are new here. These they've just launched these. So I got these two colors and these. I got four colors, and then today I picked out this mint one. I hope you can see it. The mint one. This lilac purple one. Wow, is it too bright? Sorry. And I also got. <gasps> Okie dokie, they're pretty resilient, I guess. And I got this the purple one. Again, I can't. There we go, that's the color. And I got the red one. So that's pretty cool. And what I have on my nails right now is the Pretty Woman. These are by Annie. And, and these were my shoes today. As you can see, I'm in pink mode. It was very interesting because I was talking about this with my friend. And when I put on... It's the fact that I'm all matchy-matchy in pink, that's not... Because... When I painted my nails today, I went for the color that I most feel like looking at. And it's pink. And then, coincidentally, like everything else was pink. I also wanted to do like a pink lip. But, oh! It's wiggling because of Buddha. <laughs> but I realized that would be a little bit too much. I also picked up six lipsticks. One is a lasting lip color, I guess you would say, in this color. And then from the regular ones, I got four orangey. I'm gonna try to show you them all together so you can see the difference. Four orangey colors. They all vary off just slightly. So these are the four oranges one. And the last one I got was ah, a pink metallic one. And this one you have to see a uh, swatch up to see how pretty they are. I really like these. I think I really like these lipsticks. And they're like a dollar and a half or the equivalent of a dollar and a half. And I'm going to do a subscriber um, a giveaway, and I thought like giving these out would be maybe maybe it's not nice because they're cheap. But on the other hand, like NYX lipsticks, they're also cheap and they're wonderful lipsticks, and I love them. So why avoid getting why avoid giving them? I really like these. These are not coming instead of something. It's fine. It's a giveaway. I mean, you get what you get, right? So I'll just you know. Um, so I really like that. I'm also looking at uh, some lip colors by uh, Too Faced. I love Too Faced. I wish it wasn't so expensive. And I'm thinking about Bon Bon or the other... I can't remember. And I also swatched the Bourgeois lipsticks and I really like number 10. And here it's like twice as much as it would cost me getting it online, including shipping and everything. So if I'm getting it, I'm getting it online. That's like for sure. And I really like the bourgeois lipsticks and they're also coming up with a new line. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm probably going to organize it. I have to figure out like in the entire organization thing that I did in my room and between all my wardrobe and clothes storage and stuff like that, I didn't figure out where I'm going to store my underwear. <laughs> so now I have to figure that one out. Um, I also have to record some videos next week so I'm hoping that will happen. And if Passover is Monday night. Um, so, and we're not, we're not hosting this year, we're walking over, and I already know what my dress is going to be. Yay! It's a white dress, basically, with florals all over it. So it's like, very florally, but white background. Uh, yeah, that's how you describe it. And I like my eye look, and I think I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do this eye look. Uh, this is my general look for right now. And yeah, I'm <laughs> happy. So that's it. Bye-bye.